doing maintenance on the dump trailer. The bearings are smoked. Honestly, I'm These starting to question whether they are or not. What like, do you mean? What I think they? all that movement was just coming from here. Look at that. I was talking to William and he was confirming what you're saying that those uh, all that shackles, all that play in there, the, the shackles, bushings on the inside, especially at the ends of these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'll replace these ones first and then yeah, I'll go to these. What about that little bit of play? I'm not feeling it now. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's actually in the bearing. I think we're just feeling the movement coming from here. Mm -hmm. Just look at that. It's just so much play, and it was eaten away so bad. But here we got what maybe a quarter inch left with some metal. Dang. Here. So the the brand, where are the brand new ones? Check these out. That's a beautiful day out, man. Wow. Where'd you get these from? Did you go to Shores Trailer Supply? Oh, you went to the place up on Auburn. Yeah, I always forget the name of that place. Nice. So that those plastic uh, inserts are yeah. worn completely. Yeah. Are they worn gone on those? I guarantee they are. On the bottom half, I guarantee that there's nothing left. There's they been did. five years of this thing beaten. All oh, these, look at these bearings, how precise these are. So we probably don't have to use these. Huh? Oh, so here's the new, uh, these plates. <laughs> shackle plates, whatever, what are these called? Yeah, those are shackles. Oh, I can see, yeah. Nice, the holes are nice and uh, milled out, but those are all worn away. Yeah, so it's only a matter, look how, how, like how thin that's getting. So it's only a matter of time. Yeah. For that. <laughs> yeah, good call, man. It was feeling weird, like between 40 and 45, I started noticing a shake, and then it seemed mm -hmm. like it was, getting a little worse but it wasn't in the truck it was just back here in the trailer and then seeing the ladder actually the ladder was a real telltale sign of it yeah you normally have it mounted up here but it's just mm -hmm. flopping back and forth as i was driving you're seeing the walls going like that too oh there's all that play in there the up and down is normal obviously but but it's able to shift like this like you know, nice Nice. So real quick, when you went to Total Trailer, they knew exactly what you needed just by the way you talked to, they looked at it and they said, yeah. you need all this? Yep. Because <laughs> it's, it's common, right? Well, I was having, I was like, I know I need to replace some bushings and stuff and I couldn't think of the name of this. And then uh, I was like, uh, well, you can, or I uh, asked him if he could come out with me. And, uh, he came out. When he looked at it, did he say, oh yeah, oh yeah. Or was he just like, no. Yeah. He's like, so you need uh, the equalizer, you need the shackles, you need the bolts. I'm like, yeah, I need mm -hmm. it all. And then he was asking about drum brakes too. I'm like, no, those are fine. He's like, well, I don't want to mess with those then. So, but this is the real main focus. So we're good. We got nice. the green bushings. Let me see. No, it doesn't look like much, but that's get a really low wear rate for a plastic, especially with all the force on it. Yeah, it's not a light trailer at all. No, it's like 3,600 pounds, 3,650 at just the trailer. <laughs> It can't track straight. Yeah. So <laughs> flop it around. Pretty much all of this is worn out. All the bushings, the bolts, the shackles, the equalizer. So that's the plan. We're gonna change this out today. See what happens is the bushing goes and then the bolt makes metal on metal contact and then it starts eating away. Cause I guess it's a what they call a case hardened bolt. I could be wrong, I don't know. But um it's a harder metal than the shackles themselves, so that's what gets eaten away first, although there still is wear on these bolts. So we're gonna replace all of that. It's new parts. Got the new equalizers, new bushes, new shackles, new buttons. So we're gonna see what we can do and see how quickly we can get this done. Right here is what we're dealing with. You can see the bolts getting chewed apart. The bushing is gone. Eating up through the bottom. Nothing left of it. I'm gonna split. Now we're about to get this one off. And I want to show you exactly how much wear is there. Some of you guys have probably ran into this enough times, but for those of you that haven't, so there should be a little enlightening for you if you run into the issues. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna 
got the old equalizer off. There's the brand new one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this. You'll see what these look like. I'm gonna take it all apart and I'm gonna show you the damage on the inside and why it's important to always check these. Nice, I can hear the impact going. Can check these out. All right, so these are here, the old links that were on the other side. We just replaced the one and we're getting ready to finish yeah. up the other side. But while you're out here, I wanted to show you like how badly each of these shackles are oval out. Uh, that's some that's some serious damage. I mean, look at how much it was like wearing away there too. Well, I've seen worse. I've seen them break and the whole shackle pop. Oh yeah, right. The, like blow into the back of the bed of the truck and love a ride on a low rider dog. All these bushings, every single one of them, are shot. And of course, it? this is yeah. literally how they came out. Nice. Yeah, it smoked. By the way, if you need anything Ballard's, go to ballard-inc.com and save 10% on everything in the Ballard product store using promo code KEEP10 during checkout. Go to Ballard, innovative solutions for outdoor professionals. And if you need a software to run your business on, go to Jobber, getjobber.com slash Keith. You can get a free trial of Jobber after two weeks. You decide you like it, you get a huge discount with my link. Use Jobber software to run your business and the Untrap podcast every single Monday. There's a brand new episode on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud Radio. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit the notifications so you can get notified. All right, we're back. How thin that is. Yeah, bro. Not only that, I mean, like, it was wearing out pretty much everywhere that it was contacting to your trailer. See how that's honed out in here. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. That one's going to be beating. super tight now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it grease it all up, too, so it's not like... <laughs> screaming down the street. Yeah. That's horrible. That was going to be the first to go. Got a dope shirt from Cujo Yardwear. <laughs> it's yours. It's a large nice. regular. It's super soft cut. Their shoes are, are comfy. Their shirts are comfy. Oh yeah, it's a nice, light, breathable fabric too.
night and day difference, like how it's tracking and everything, how it's riding and pulling. It's not going to be pulling from side to side or at random either. Nice, bro. Exactly what it's supposed to. Sweet. I love it. Okay, let's go with daddy to go get the chicken. Ha, ha, ha.